Well, welcome back to the Vino Rod. I'm Robert, and I'm going to be bringing you underneath the car. We'll take a look at uh, what I've been doing. So sit back and relax and follow me under the car. <laughs> Well, there's the finished product there. Had it pretty much covered up. All right, so we used uh, some rust encapsulator and then we used some uh, rubberized undercoating on that. Looks pretty good. All right, on to the next one. Well, we're going to take care of this, cleaning this stuff up where it needs to be coated. So, yeah, we're going to take care of that. Go ahead and mask some of this stuff off before I start treating it with some uh, rust preventive. And then uh, hit it with uh, some of that rubberized undercoating. That's my uh, emergency cable apparatus that I put up together. Those are uh, emergency brake cables off of a 56 Chevy rear end, which instead of getting new ones, I just went ahead and added this bracket here and here. And then put that bracket together. And uh, yeah, you'll see when it's finished, I have a couple of pulleys that go inside that bracket. And then you can see the uh, all thread couplings there that the cable's running through. And then that stainless steel bracket. And then uh, those two... Well, they come off of a light fixture, and um, and I'm using them to keep that cable uh, from sagging out of the wheels. If I just had the bracket there with just the wheels in it, and so it's kind of like a chase, I guess. Okay, well, I'm going to get this thing uh, taped up, and uh, we'll proceed.
All right, here we are with uh, the undercoating put on and the uh, rust encapsulator. It's got everything sealed up, looking good. Last week's beautification job there, looking sweet. Um, okay, so what I ended up doing here was using uh, couple of pulleys on a uh, 56 Chevy rear end that came with the uh, emergency brake cables so I ended up uh, adding these brackets in building this little bootsy watsy right there to uh, encapsulate those wheels um, modified a bracket there use some all thread couplings there to build a chase added those fancy chrome pendant light rods and added that block right there that all thread the clevis and the emergency brake handle was all about sixty dollars and by utilizing the existing brake cable saved me probably two hundred dollars that's a win fellas that's a win Well, there you have it, guys. We've done some uh, cleanup on the underneath side with the uh, rockers and uh, cleaning up around the emergency brake pulley system. And uh, we're going to leave it at that for this week. Um, next week, I think I want to work on the fuel line and the uh, battery cables, get them installed and dressed up. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next week.